Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. It's been a little while since I've seen you guys. I took an unplanned little blog and YouTube break last week, but now I'm back with another video and I'm using a stamp set from Winnie and Walter called Seasons Tweetings. It has these really cute birds in it, which I think some of them look like penguins a little bit, but for my card today, I'm going to have them be where birds that are that fly and that they're sitting on top of a wire. So I'm going to be creating a scene and I've got these two birds and I've tipped them in toward each other so that I can have a curved wire underneath them. And I've stamped them in VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And I use my Misty tool for that because I'm stamping onto some Arches cold press watercolor paper and I wasn't sure about the texture of the paper causing a problem. So that's why I wanted to use a Misty tool. I then drew on that curved line, which will be the wire with a pencil and then drew over that or traced over it with a black pen. And that black pen is an envelope addressing pen from Pilot. It's waterproof, so it's perfect for this. So I've placed that watercolor piece back to my Misty tool and then I've used that clear transparency grid sheet because I needed something that the stamp would stick to so that I could curve this greeting and have it kind of mimic the curve of that wire. So I stamped that in some more onyx black ink and then I decided to stamp some trees at the bottom of this scene so it looks like that wire is above the trees creating a, a more a, you know a scene. So I stamped those two trees and then I immediately stamped the trees onto some masking paper just using the remainder of the ink that was on the stamps and then I cut those out, trimmed them out so that I could use those stamps again multiple times to create a cluster of trees beneath these birds. So I ended up stamping each tree three times, I think it was, and um, or maybe, yeah, three times. And then I had a nice scene at the bottom of my watercolor sheet. So I've taped that watercolor piece down to a board using some 3M painter's tape. And I'm going to be using my Magello Mission Gold watercolors today to paint this scene. So I've sped up the scene so I can talk you through it. And the first thing I did was I painted the background to look like a sky. So I pre-wet all of those areas that I was painting with just clean, clear water, and then dropped in some pale blue shades and let them kind of wick out and soften on all the edges to create a nice blue sky. The idea behind the color palette on this particular card was I wanted it to look like a very bright and sunny cold day. If any of you are from some colder climates like I am, you know that when it's overcast, it's actually a little bit warmer. But if it's a clean, like a really clear day with no clouds or practically no clouds, it is just biting cold. And so I wanted to kind of mimic that scene. So now I'm going to be uh, watercoloring each of these birds. The bird on the left, I wanted him to be kind of brown with a little bit of a more warm yellow belly. And the bird on the right, I wanted to sort of look like a cardinal, which are red with some darker colors on the wings, and then a black face and a red beak. So those are the colors that I'm using today to paint these birds. And I just thought it'd be really, really cute to keep the, the colors very bright and vibrant. So I also brought in a really bright blue shade and then I mixed sort of like a little bit of a more muted teal blue shade and it took quite a bit of time to mix that up and get it to the shade that I wanted but then once it was ready I brought that over and I really love how the the colors played off each other. I planned to have all of that hat painted in with color but then I decided I really liked that white color so I ended up just shading the white area with a very pale gray and then that hat was pretty much finished. For the other bird I brought in the black on his face and I added a more limey green on the scarf and then brought in a darker green just to give some interest to that. As far as the trees go on the bottom of the card, I just did kind of drops of color and let the colors mix with each other. I wasn't doing anything super precise or trying to make them shaded per se. I just wanted to have different shades of green going all through these trees. So I just dropped in some more lime shades and then also some darker green shades. Then went back up to that first bird and added a little more shading because he, as he dried back, he looked a little bit more and more pale. 
And after that was completely dry, I trimmed it down to be, uh, let's see, I trimmed it to just shy of four inches wide and I'll just shy of five and a quarter so that I would have a nice white border around the edge. I then used some Nina Solar White in the 110 pound version to create my card base. I just scored that at five and a half to create a top folding card. Then I uh, put my watercolor piece down with some 3M foam tape. And then I decided to put some snowflakes all over this entire scene. And at first I tried it with a white gel pen, but on top of this very textured watercolor paper, I was having a lot of trouble getting that white gel pen to be really opaque and have it work. So in the end, I decided to use some gouache. This is uh, kind of like a really opaque watercolor texture. And I just watered it down just a tiny with a tiny bit of water so that I could get it to be more fluid. And then I painted all those snowflakes. So I really love this card. It turned out really whimsical. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I will be back tomorrow with a craft room tour. So watch for that. Thanks for watching.